I assume you all know why you're here, right? No? Well, that's a shame. I figured it'd be pretty clear by now. I mean, you try and screw over a guy like me, you might think that maybe something like this could happen. I mean, am I right? Shut your mouth! See, I had my guys check the books. And I gotta say, the numbers don't look good. See, someone, one of you three, someone has been earning a little extra on the side. How do you think that makes me feel? How does it make me look? See, I'm a, I'm a reasonable man. So I'm gonna make this simple. I'm gonna ask each one of you where my goddamn money is. And the one person who can tell me what I wanna know. You wanna take a guess at what happens? They get to walk right out that door. Scot-free. How does that sound, huh? Huh? Look at me, look at me. Reasonable. So let's begin. Where is my money? Somebody didn't understand the rules of the game. That's too bad. I really liked her. Contestant number two. Where? Is my money? If you just give me. A is it me? Did I not explain this well enough? Last chance. Three men walk into a hotel. walk into a hotel. They ask the clerk for a room for the night. The clerk says, it's $30. That's a good price, the three men say, just $10 a piece. Okay, I, I didn't realize we were doing a story. No, please, go. Each man pays $10 and they head up to the room. A few minutes later, the bellboy knocks on the door. Sorry to bother you, he says. But the clerk made a mistake. This room has a special price tonight and is only $25. The bellboy hands five signals back to the men and begins to leave. The smartest of the three men realizes you can't split $5 between three people. So what did they do? Well, he stops the bellboy and he gives him $2 as a tip. Now, each of them has paid $9 for the room. Seems fair. Yes, it does. But think about it. Nine plus nine plus nine equals... 27. <laughs> right. And they gave $2 to the bellboy. 27 plus two is only 29. What happened to the missing dollar? The clerk was dirty. He scammed them all. No, no one took it. No one stole it. No one scammed anyone. The math was just wrong. It can make mistakes. But, 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 but the real problem wasn't the math. The real problem was having too many hands in the pot to begin with. Something's just bound to get messed up, right? Too many variables. I can help you find the problem. Who the fuck was that guy? 
Micah, he laundered it through Conway. Well, what the hell was he talking about? I still think someone took it. All right, shut up. All right. <sighs> Give me your pen. Come on. Give me the pen. Boss. I need you to just stand there, shut up, and give me your arm, okay? Give me your arm. Come down, please. Thank you. Three guys, $30. That's 10 apiece. You take away the five. How'd the story go?